Last time on Races to Places, we saw a truck having a little rest. Nice to see the sun back in its full glory. Lyndon is sending a text to his father Robin to ensure everything is set. So important to check, check, check again, as once Rex boards the ship, it's game over for Dakar preparation. the other way around. Peru, you beauty. Here we go with the jaw-dropping scenery all over again. This definitely doesn't suck. So we're always coming up against obstacles when we choose to go on trails like this that are not regularly run and as you can see you come across something like this It's a big hole um, Quite a big hole So the plan was then to go around here so you can see my track went up the track to the top where it was not falling down and then round. So, and Tony's on his way. Beautiful spot. just stopped to share this with you. We was uh, riding along this road over there, you can see in the distance, and there were some bollards on the side because of a landslide. And then when we got to the other side of the valley, I decided to take a look what it was like. And the side of the, you see the car going over there, you can actually see the road is sinking slightly. There is nothing supporting the road. One day, a truck or something's going to go over there and the whole thing is going to collapse. That is insane. This is like riding in the Yorkshire Dales or something, but with more altitude and more awesomeness. Look at the views. And the 
tracks are just insane. 300 kilometers of this. What an awesome day. Not filmed much today. Kind of need to make some progress towards the sunshine, so really hammering the kilometers rather than concentrating on filming. So I'm sorry about that. Um, as a result, you'll just have to accept some helmet camera footage and me gassing inside my helmet while I'm covering some kilometers. Seems the best way to best compromise to get some distance done as well. Well, I've not been doing much filming on Races to Places because uh, we're really booking it to get south for the start of the Dakar, so doing lots of riding, not really having much time to stop and film, but um, we just landed in this small little town tonight and it's pretty cold, it's 11,000 feet in the Andes in Peru, uh, but I just wanted to share with you some of these, <laughs> some of the features in this park tonight. It looks like we're ascending the mountain a fair way here as the temperatures are dropping a lot. So this is not going to be so easy to fix because you've got a massive two inch gash in the tyre which you can actually see all the way through. And here we are trying to wrap locking wire around a massive gash in my tyre. So it's going to delay things a little bit but where there's a will, there's a way. Just keep plugging on. Just to show you the size of the gash. Pretty big. And then use the KTM exhaust spring puller. There we go. it is, the completed repair. Let's hope she holds out. Is it going to work? I hope so. It's taken about an hour to stitch it up, so it better work. <laughs> say that breathing's a little bit difficult is a bit of an understatement but here we are trudging on awesome scenery Woo! love it wow It's going to be a tough job getting down here. <whistles> Woo! 15,500 feet <coughs> in Peru. What a fantastic place. Look at the snow around us. And the mountains in the background. Woo! -hoo! On top of the world. Wow. I'm so 
far out of breath up here. 16,000 feet. So tonight we're in Huanaco and um, I was invited here by an internet friend in fact, a friend that helped support me get to Dakar 2013 back in 2012 and um, we actually never got to meet at the race due to some com pre-race complications so when he saw that I was coming through Peru he invited me to come stay with him and to meet his riding friends here. We've arrived at Around the Block Moto Adventures, where it looks like they've been expecting Linden for some time. So the tyre repair made it to the shop. Split from there to there. Cut open by a piece of steel or something in the trail. But this trail side repair held. I'm going to try and get a tyre here. Alright, so today it's time to get rid of the tyre with the repair, which has held very good so far. Um, but thankfully with the help of uh, Around the Block Motor Adventures, we have a new tyre. So there we go, Pirelli MT21 feed in the nice workshop here at Around the Block Motor Adventures, just putting Basil back together. So I donated this tyre to the club here in Huanaco. Gracias amigo! So walking down the street, you do find a lot of things on the side of the street in these places, but I've never found a pair of bent fork legs before. again I noticed Lucas isn't traveling with Lyndon and Tony anymore I hope they haven't lost him somewhere in Colombia Awesome off-road here, heading toward Machu Picchu. Just share the beauty of today's ride because if we hadn't have chosen to go this way, we'd never have seen this. What an awesome valley. Next time on Races to Places, hopefully, Lyndon and Tony's legs will have carried them to Machu Picchu. Mm -hmm.